Hi, this is Armin from Android Next.de. Welcome to our little video tutorial on how to put um, Android 2.3.7 in form of the Cyanogen Mod 7.1 Alpha on the HP touchpad. I got my touchpad a few days ago. It's quite a nice experience as it comes. WebOS is a good uh, OS, let's say that much. Uh, you can browse, you can check your emails, you have applications for Facebook and Twitter, everything. So if you'd like to, you just could leave WebOS on the touchpad and uh, use it like this. But still, we are Android fans, so naturally we want to have Android on our touchpad. Um, considering the, the possibility is there, thanks to the guys from CyanogenMod who released CM. 7.1 alpha a few days ago so we just uh yeah we're going to put uh, the cm 7.1 on the touchpad and in this tutorial we're going to show you how it is done first of all we need five files to do this uh, which files these are you will find in the article to this video if you're watching this video only on youtube you will find in the description a link to the article in english and there are all the files listed which you need and where you can download them I put them here on my desktop already. It's the admin installer. It's three files which consist of the clockwork mod of the Cyanogen mod itself and a Moboot file. And the last file is the Novacom drivers, which you will need to let your laptop or desktop PC communicate with the HP touchpad. We do this tutorial on a Windows 7 laptop. Um, you can do it on a desktop as well. Um, what happens if you have an XP machine uh, or an even older Windows machine? I cannot tell you. Uh, probably the best thing to do is do it on a Windows 7 machine. If you don't have one yourself, go to a friend or do it in the office, whatever. Um, in the article to the video, we also describe how to do it on a Mac OS um, system or on a Linux system but in the video we will concentrate on Windows 7 which is by far the most widespread OS out there. First of all you should unpack the ACME installer file and the Novacom file. In the ACME installer file is a readme and a file that's called actually ACME installer. In the Novacom file is another readme file and the installer itself. So first we start the installer and this will put the Novacom drivers, the drivers to communicate with the HP touchpad on our laptop. And after this is done, we will open a file manager. And there we will find, and there we will find a directory called Palm Inc. It usually is under the main hard drive, which is in this case C, and then programs, and then Palm Inc. Into this directory, we now copy the extracted ACME installer file. And then it is already time to connect the HP touchpad to the laptop. So we take the USB cable which comes with the touchpad and just connect it. Very simple. A uh, pop-up appears on the touchpad which asks us what to do and we choose to connect the touchpad as a flash drive to the Windows machine. So now you see a big USB symbol on the touchpad and on your laptop you should have the pop-up bubble, uh, the pop-up dialog which asks you what to do and we just open it as a flash drive, as a separate directory and then we copy the three files um, unextracted as they are on the desktop, um, which are Moboot, the Cyanogen mod, uh, which has the nice ad addition to the name full of bugs, and the CWM file, which stands for clockwork mod. So we just copy them to the main directory of the touchpad because later the installer needs to use these files automatically and he will only find it if they are on the root directory of the touchpad. Having done this, it's time to unplug our touchpad. Um, I, I, I didn't find out how to, to unplug the touchpad, how to unmount the touchpad manually via the touchpad. I just uh, can unmount it here via the laptop. And when I, when I plug off the cable, the touchpad complains. But uh, anyway, I didn't find another way. So now the two devices are unplugged again. And what I have to do now is restart the touchpad 
And this can either be done via the system settings, but it can also be done if you just long press on the power button on the top of the touchpad, because after a few seconds, you will have a dialogue which asks you what to do. And we choose not the flight mode, but the power off button, and then the touchpad powers down. So when the symbol on the touchpad disappeared and everything is black, the touchpad should be powered off. So now you have to power it on again, but this time by pressing not only the power button, but at the same time pressing down the volume up button, which is on the right hand top side of the touchpad, until this little USB symbol appears. And only then can you reconnect your HP touchpad to your laptop via the USB cable. Nothing special will happen. A little pop-up balloon will show you on your laptop that a device was connected, but the touchpad will stay the same. So now we just open up a command shell. It's time for some old school DOS commands. We do this by just clicking on the Windows button on the lower left corner of your laptop and then typing CMD, which stands for command, in the little input uh, window on the, on the very lower end of the start menu. So a DOS shell should open up. And here, the first thing we type is CD space C colon backslash, which brings us back to the root directory of the C drive. And then we have to navigate uh, to the folder where we put the Acme installer, and that was program files slash palm inc. So what we type now is CD for change directory, space, program files, slash, palm, comma, space, inc. And press the return button and that should bring us to the right directory uh, where the Acme installer lies. To check it, we just can type dir, D-I-R, and that shows us a list of files in this directory. And in the best case scenario, there is a file called Acme installer. So to start this installer, and by this starting to put uh, Android CyanogenMod 7.1 on our touchpad, we enter the following command, novacom.exe space boot, B-O-O-T, space mem, M-E-M, -E colon, slash, slash, space, then an opening angle bracket, then in capital letters, A-C-M-E-I, and then in small letters, N-S-T-A-L-L-E-R, Acme Installer. And this command we confirm by pressing return, and at that moment, uh, the Cyanogen mod should start installing on your HP touchpad. You can see it if you look on the touchpad, there's a lot of text scrolling down, and the touchpad is working. This could take quite a few minutes, so don't get worried if it takes a little longer. On our device, uh, it took like two or three minutes until the whole thing was installed. Maybe on some other devices, it can take up to five or six minutes. So finally, uh, when the installation is done, your HP touchpad should restart, and then you will be presented with a boot menu. Now here comes the important thing. The boot menu is set to only display for five seconds. After that, it will automatically start the Cyanogen mod. So if you want to start the Cyanogen mod, go ahead, do nothing. But if you want to start eventually back into WebOS, just press the volume up or the volume down button in this five seconds window. And then you navigate with the volume up or the volume down button to the several points and choose the first point, which is boot WebOS and uh, confirm your selection by pressing the home button, which is on the right end of the HP touchpad, and then it should boot into WebOS. Anyway, we want to see how Android looks on the touchpad, so we will do nothing and just boot into CyanogenMod. On the first time, this also could take a little time until the CyanogenMod is first booted up, but we fast forward a little here, and most of you guys who have the CyanogenMod probably installed on their smartphones know the look. Uh, it's pr uh, exactly the same as on a smartphone. You have the several home screens, you have the app drawer. Everything is working fine so far. Uh, the CyanogenMod is still an alpha stadium, so it's quite a little uh, buggy sometimes. We didn't experience any greater bugs, but sometimes the touchpad, uh, for example, does shut down, and then you apparently have no possibility to restart it. We helped ourselves by pressing the power button, the volume up button, and the home button at the same time for several seconds, and eventually the HP touchpad will start again. So this was Ami from Android Next with the video tutorial on how to put CyanogenMod 7.1 
on your HP touchpad. We hope you liked it. We hope you have fun with your HP touchpad and Android on it. See you next time. Bye bye.